Hello, welcome back to Goldborn. Last time, we basically finished building the roof. Uh, we also got our first traders. Um, and we sort of got everything set up, I want to say. We got a lot of things set up. Um, basically started getting our food situation dealt with. Um, we're sort of almost done finishing up all the stuff we need to finish. I guess is the best way to put it. Um, we're sort of in a situation where I'm close to being mostly done, I want to say. By which I mean, I, I try to divide this game into, like, different... I don't want to say eras, but basically, uh, like, I group together in my head, like, different tasks that all need to be done. So, like, the first task that absolutely needs to be done, like, the first group of tasks that need to be done are, you need to set up all your stockpiles and workshops, you need to find all the caves, uh, you need to set up your walls uh, and your bridges to make sure you don't die, uh, things like that. So, you know, uh, let's see, one, two, three. No, I need one more. Oh, well, we need more blocks. Okay, well, we need more blocks. Let's, uh... Let's build some more blocks. Uh, I guess we only need, like, 50. We don't need a huge amount. Um... Yeah, we'll just keep building that shirt. That'll be fine. Uh, but yeah, so basically we need, uh... We're, we're sort of in the, the... Sort of near the end of the beginnings of what we need to do. So, obviously we've set up uh, the basic necessities. We've got some very basic noble quarters. Uh, stockpiles are done. Essentially, uh, the workshops are set up. Uh, so there's a few things we're basically done doing at the moment. Um, and then once we finish all this, we can begin moving into more serious production. We can start dealing with... Uh, being more creative and start working on things like uh, smelting and other such things. Once we get basic food and drink under undertaken, speaking of which, I need to look at my kitchen. Uh, so normally what I do is I say anything that can be brewed should not be cooked, uh, because booze is usually more important. So if I can brew it, I don't want to cook it, uh, because I want to use that for drinks instead. Uh, obviously that's gonna leave us... It's gonna leave us a lot of different kinds of alcohol, which is exactly what we want. Uh, we definitely don't want to cook any of our seeds, and we don't want to cook the booze. Because your dwarves are dumb, and will do things like cook the booze, uh, which we don't want to do. So... Currently we have 259 drink. Uh, we should probably start making food. Uh, so... We'll have one cook doing that. Uh, but we also need to start looking into bins and barrels and things, so we should probably make some barrels. I mean, I know we have barrels, but, uh, we'll start with some wood. Uh, obviously we're gonna change this, uh, pretty soon. Once we get, um... Once we get to the point where, uh, we no longer need wood, we will, uh, we'll deal with it. So once we no longer need wood, uh, we'll start making everything out of metal. Should hopefully set us together, fix everything up. At least that's the goal. That's the goal anyway. All right, everything's giving. So all of our animals are giving birth, which is good. It means we'll have a meat and leather industry. Uh, I'm not sure why I decided to make kangaroos the uh, start. Okay. See, we're already down to like 251, uh, 250, uh, FPS. So, in contrast to what we started at, which was like 400, that's where we're at now. Uh... So, let's see if I can... So basically the goal is... Oh good, more migrants. 
More migrants, just what we needed. Uh, actually, yeah, that's exactly what we needed, so I just cleaned some stuff, and hopefully we'll get our FPS back up, although the more more migrants we have, the, uh, the lower the FPS is. See, we're already at, like, 195. Uh, so this is why I try to do everything in my power to avoid FPS drop. Alright, so... I just realized I probably brought animals, so... What, uh, what did you bring me? Oh god. Oh god, oh, actually no, that's... That's fine, never mind. These are all the things that were born. Never mind, doesn't look like they brought us anything. Which is just fine, I'm okay with that. Um... Okay, I finished all the work orders, so build the walls. Now, in reality, I really didn't need to build it this wide, now that I look at it. Now that I look at it, I shouldn't have built it this wide. Um, I should have built it, like, right here. Hmm. I suppose I could tear this wall down now. And just build it, like, all the way out here. Uh... So, move construction. And obviously we're going to build the ceiling over this too. So once they're done building this... I really should have built the... the uh, I should have built the... Um, supposedly they've embarked. Uh, it doesn't look like they've embarked. I'm not sure why they're doing this. Uh, pull it, pull it. Okay, so hopefully that, that means they will leave. Uh, are they unable to leave? Do you have depot act? You should have depot access. I'm not sure why you can't leave. Oh, there they go, okay. It just took them forever to, uh, to do it. Never mind. Alright, let's build another bridge. Uh, I guess we'll build it like here. Eh, let's build it whenever. Uh, we want it to raise. And it doesn't matter what we build it out of, technically. The bridge is less important uh, to be built out of certain things, but we'll build it out of blocks anyway. And we'll build a floor. Build that out of blocks. Nothing like building blocks. Alright. Then once this is done, we'll link up the second bridge. Link it up to the second bridge. And then we'll build one more. Right here. Now, I might go, why am I building them far apart? Uh, the reason is, is because we want, we want an area inside where if we want to seal people off, they can fight inside. That's the whole goal. Uh, but that's not all we're going to do, uh, because as you might imagine, uh, kobolds and other things might show up, and we do need to worry about, uh, we do need to worry about, uh, invaders, and the best way to avoid invaders sneaking up on you is to put animals outside. So part of the reason I'm trying to breed so many animals, uh, and actually, uh, let's go back to animals really quickly. Which ones of you can be war trained? I guess all of our dogs can be war trained. So we're gonna war train all of our dogs. Can't war train kangaroos, that's a little sad. Can war train anything else? I don't think we can war train anything else. It's disappressing, it's disappointing. I was hoping we could have war kangaroos. Someone needs to fix that. Quick modders, create war kangaroos. That's what we need. Alright, so that's built. So now we can get rid of this ramp, because it's no longer needed. Uh, Alright, so they're still building food. That's fine. Um, tell my guys to gather all the plants. Because plants are good, and we want to steal as much as we can off the surface in advance before enemies start showing up and 
trying to kill us, so. Uh, how are we doing on wood? We got wood. Um, did I ever build a finished goods stockpile down here? I don't think I did. I did not. Oops. Alright, well, I guess we're going to build that right here. Uh, actually, I don't know if... Oh, I just realized I built all my stockpiles right here next to the ladder. Or next to the stairs. I'm not sure if this is closer. I feel like it's not, but... I feel like it's not, but it could be. What's this? Bar block? Alright, so we're gonna... I'm gonna get rid of this, actually. I'm gonna move this stockpile... here. And instead, we're gonna put a finished good stockpile right here. Actually, you know what? No, we're gonna put... We're gonna move this too. So, we're going to move this stone stockpile right here. We're gonna put the finished good stockpile right here. And... Settings... Finished goods. Alright, so everything that's not... stuff we want to engrave. So, no toys. Things like that. Uh, I guess I can put totems there. So none of the stuff that we want... Like, so the only thing we want to put here are things like you know, figurines, rings, things like that. Things that are worth money uh, that we want to actually, you know, do things with. But now that we're done that, and as soon as they finish gathering all the food and moving everything, we're going to start smelting. Um, I should probably also start dealing with, like, stone and stuff. Um, we also need to start planting things. I should probably also make a... I just realized I didn't do this right. At least not entirely right. What I need to do is... I need to make get rid of this really quickly. And what I need to do is channel. So, I was saying, why am I channeling? Well, because the game has a small glitch in it, so to speak. Okay, it's not really a small glitch, it's a pretty big glitch, actually, but uh, they've never fixed it, so we're going to take advantage of it. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to build a floor, and what this does is the game doesn't realize how do I put this? The game doesn't realize uh, that that's underground now. So, like, right now, if I look at this outside, it says outside light above ground, right? If I'm inside, it also says inside light above ground. Despite the fact that the roof is sealed up, so there's no light, uh, it still claims that there's light in here, and it claims it's above ground. Now, if I go underground, uh, you notice down there it says inside light above ground, despite the fact that it is neither above ground nor is there light. Um, in contrast to right over here, which is dark and subterranean. And what this does is it changes what we can grow. So this right here, we can now grow above ground crops from the safety underground. Uh, and that's something that's been in the game forever, <laughs> I feel like. So we're going to take advantage of that. Uh... Which means now we can safely grow above ground crops under the ground. Um, so, first things first, we need to grow. Make ourselves a farm. And this will be more important later. Uh, obviously, this will be more important. Uh, that's just going to be there. We're going to build a second farm over here, I think. Uh just for the sake of make sure it's the same size because I'm weird that way and we'll have our both of our farms right here okay and plot build ourselves a farm okay now we're not actually gonna do anything uh, you know, so we can grow different crops uh, above ground and below ground. So we're not actually going to do anything with that right now. Uh, not just yet, because we're gathering most of our plants. Um, speaking of plants, I should probably look to make sure everything's still on the up and up. Now, one of the most important things uh, 
that you need to know about cooking. And for those of you who don't realize this, or don't know about it, uh, so the game handles plants kind of weird. Uh, handles plants very weird. One of the strangest things that I've never understood about how the game handles things. So when you brew food, like say you take a plant and you brew it, one of the things that it does is... Um, did I ever hook this up? I was about to find out. Yes, okay, so I did. I don't remember if I did that or not. Uh, so one of the things that happens is when you brew, say... I don't know, let's pick something. So if I brew barley, for example, and make beer, um, we immediately get barley seeds. So we get the seeds from the act of actually brewing it. However, if we cook, say, asparagus, we don't get the seeds until somebody eats the asparagus. So... They put the asparagus in a meal, but we don't actually get the seed from eating it until, uh... Uh... Don't get the seed until... Uh... Oh yeah, we do have it auto-cut gems, don't we? Yes, we do. So we don't get the seed until somebody eats the meal and then moves it. So that kind of sucks, but, uh... Alright, so we're going to smelt everything. A whole bunch of random crap. We're going to smelt it. Uh, we are going to smelt the coke. Because we're going to need that later. Um, now, one of the things you might be tempted to do, is you might be saying, okay, well, you know, we're only making... Uh, you know, you might be tempted to be like... Uh, You know, okay, we're using magma, so there's really no reason for us to have coke, right? It just takes up space. Well, that's only half true. Um, and the reason it's only half true is because we need the coke later to make steel. Uh, you're going to need the coke to make... Uh, uh, to act as carbon, so you can make steel. And the game is very specific about that. So you're going to need lots and lots of coke in order to make lots and lots of steel. Uh, and we, we will speed the process up later when we do that. Uh, we will focus very specifically on what we're doing with that. Um, but that's going to be much later. Because first we want we don't want to use steel immediately. We don't want our um, we don't want our dwarves uh, practicing smelting on steel. Because obviously we're going to lose a little bit of it each time we make something. So we want to use a much cheaper uh, material, preferably copper. Uh, copper is usually good. Silver is also very good, depending on what you're making. Um, but we really don't want to, uh, really don't want to do very much. Now, there is a benefit. Uh, there is a benefit, you might be saying, okay, well, why are you using metal instead of, say, oh, I don't know. Uh, like, why would you use metal as opposed to, I don't know, uh, like stone. So why would you have your dwarves learn metal crafting as opposed to stone crafting? Well, the reason is is because uh, if you make really crappy metal works, like say you tell your dwarves, okay, I want you to learn how to make you know iron swords. I want you to be a weapon smith. Uh, you can smelt down all of their terrible, you know, terrible uh, copper swords and recoup some of your losses. And when you recoup some of your losses, then you can then have them uh, resmelt things. If you you can't do it out of uh, out of stone, once they build something out of stone, if it's something that doesn't perish in magma, you're basically stuck with it, <laughs> uh, unless you dump it out somewhere. And we might do that. I might I might do that just to train up some uh, legendary stone crafters, I guess. Uh, and maybe something we're gonna do. I don't know, we'll think about it. Uh, we do probably, at some point soon, need to start brewing drinks, I think. So we might do that now, but before I do that, I want to... Are we almost done? Are they almost done smelting everything? They are. Alright, well, I might have to check... I might have to check how much, uh... How much we have after they're done smelting everything. 
And also, surprisingly enough, we've now gotten a source of uh, gypsum. And gypsum is only really useful for uh, one thing and one thing only. And it's for plaster powder. Uh, you definitely need plaster powder because you need it in case you break... Like, say your dwarf breaks a leg and needs a cast. And the only way to make a cast is out of, you know, gypsum. So, you need the plaster powder for that. So, basic things like that. Uh, not much else, really. That's really the only reason I think you can use gypsum for, but the problem with it is that it's everywhere. You can technically make stones out of it and encrust things with it, and that's probably what it'll end up doing. Uh, first things first, let's check our stocks. So, uh, with just a cursory smelting thing, we have 208 iron bars, uh, 53 silver, 240 copper, We've got some nickel, a little bit of platinum, some tin, a few lead, uh, a bit of coke and charcoal. Now, this may seem like a lot, but the copper and the iron will be taken up. <laughs> We're going to be using a lot of that, so uh, I believe I believe copper bins take like God, I forgot how many copper how many uh, would take us to do copper bins. Pretty sure it takes uh Oh good, thieves. And they're already inside. Oh god. So they're gonna run away, obviously. This is why we need guard dogs. <laughs> um Oh yeah, so it does take three bars. So it takes three bars of copper to make one bin. Uh, so obviously if we need lots and lots of bins, we're going to need lots and lots of copper. Uh, but that's okay. That's not that's not a huge issue. But obviously it does add up. So like three times 20, we just need 60, 60 copper. Uh, probably also need some barrels. I think barrels also cost three. But we're going to be looking at our stocks a whole lot, because we obviously need, uh... Yeah, so we're already down to 180, so this should cost half of that. Uh... But we will be, but unlike, say, like, weapons crafting, uh, being able to forge multiple kinds of barrels and reforge barrels is not so important. Uh... Just because we're going to need so many of them. So it's less important. Uh... I should probably also do, like, have my guys build, like... I don't know. Rock rings, I guess. Let's probably have them do that. Oops. I think I just... I don't know. Let's do like 20. Because you can wear up to 10. I don't know. Make that granite. I think I just told them... Yeah, I think I just accidentally told them to stop making barrels. Oops. Alright, well. Oh well. So much for round numbers, right? Oh well. We'll figure it out later. Uh, but we're gonna have a bunch of craft dwarfs doing craft dwarf things. Doesn't really matter if their rings are terrible because they're all gonna be made out of stone and uh, your dwarves can wear them anyway. But producing them at least allow. We'll, I mean, sometime down the line we'll probably destroy them. Uh, I mean, I don't know actually how much they made. Yes, yeah, so they made a bunch of awful granite rings. Um, and we'll fix that later. We'll probably destroy them later. Uh, oh good, we already got our first forgotten beast. Uh, great beast something something one has come. A great blob composed of, great blob composed of flame. Long hanging tail and has a gaunt appearance. Beware its poisonous sting, so it's a giant fireball. Uh, <laughs> it's a giant fireball, uh, with a poisonous tail. How wonderful. Uh, hello, giant fireball. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna let <laughs> a fire. Yeah, so basically, this is gonna kill our FPS because it's going to set everything on fire down here. So you notice it's setting the caves on fire. So there's gonna be a ton of flames down here. It's gonna burn everything, uh, and uh, create all kinds of smoke. And it's just gonna catch everything on fire because now our caves are on fire. So, this is why I sealed the caves up, because it'll do this, and now there's fire everywhere. And our caves are going to be filled with ash. Fun stuff. 
Yeah, so now our caves are just going to be filled with flames. Uh, so this is wonderful. This is uh, inspiring. Good thing we sealed up everything so that doesn't kill us. Thank God for small favors, right? Uh, and that's why I seal up the caves. If you want to know why I do that, that's why. Alright, so we got a whole bunch of stuff in there. It actually looks like we need another uh, uh, stockpile for furniture. This furniture takes up all kinds of space. But, that reminded me, speaking of stockpiles I didn't remake, we don't have a refuse stockpile, so let's fix that. Refuse stockpile, corpse stockpile, and let's make a dump, I guess. Let's make that a garbage dump. Uh, those are different for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, we probably also need to make more beds. So it's like 22 more beds, I guess. And. Make a whole bunch more. It's probably a good idea. Okay. Well, I'm going to cut this episode here, and next time we're going to go continue off this, smelt a whole bunch more stuff, probably get production underway, uh, and really start making our fort function. We also need to make more drinks, but that's next time. So, uh, yeah, see y'all later.